Well, hello and welcome to Snake River Junction. My name is Gary. I've been working on a 1956-57 Revel F7 series locomotive. So take a look. So my next project is a, it's a Revel 1956-57 F-Series locomotive. It's custom painted. It has the Green Mountain Central road name on it. Custom decals. The trucks, I don't know if you can see it, they're from 1957. And the shell says 1956. Nice paint job. The seller said it may be a New Haven locomotive road name. There is red right under the stairs. Okay. I'm going to leave it this way because I have a big mountain on my layout. The road name matches the mountain. It is unique because it, it has pulley system. There's a belt right here. And there's a clutch motor. I do have to secure this thing because this is moving everywhere. It does slip, so I gotta take care of that. Light does come on. As I did test it, motor works. It does need some work. Did find some plans. There is a pulley wheel right there on the plans. So I'm going to take this paper one off. I did get a pulley wheel that I have there. I'm going to put it right there. Do have to open up the hole a little bit. Was able to put a Katie coupler on it. Don't know if I could put one on the front. Take this thing apart. I first remove the light. And the front truck. Removing the bottom plate from the truck. Then the wheels. These two screws hold the motor in. Once the motor is removed, then you can remove the rear truck. Loosen up the screws. I repeated the process for removing the plate on the rear truck.
I did have to fix the side frame. Was missing this half. Might have to replace the O-ring. Could be stretched out. Removing the old paper pulley and the metal flywheel. Not sure which way this one goes. In pictures, like this one, shows it a different way. So it actually shows it this way instead of this way. Removing the brush plate holder from the motor. This is to get access to the brush. Got to carefully remove the spring. Once the brushes are removed, the holder can easily come off. Using a fiberglass scratch pen, clean the aperture. I use the toothpick to clean in between the grooves of the aperture. Give it a little taste of oil. Reinstalling the motor brush. Then the spring. Gotta put it back in this little groove right here. Reattaching the brush plate back on the motor. It's one side in. Put the other brush back in. Then the spring in the groove. Gonna clean everything. Forgot how to put this on. Keep it in spot. I put the, the pulley wheel back on. All the parts have been cleaned. The pulley wheel has been installed. Also, got this piece on nice and tight. Put a little two-part epoxy around here. I placed the exacto knife between the motor and the flywheel. Allow the putty to dry and then was able to take it off. So there's a little gap. So that is done. Got to put the trucks on first. I reinstalled the belt on the worm shaft, then reinstalled it in the truck. Then reinstall the wheels. A little grease. Reinstall the cover plate. Reinstall the rear truck to the chassis. Reattach the motor and belt. There we go.
install the wheels in the front truck. Gave it a little oil. Reattached the cover plate. Reinstall the bushing and then the light. Securely attaching the motor wire to the front truck. So running the front light on. Leave that as done. It's trying. If I put it on backwards. Okay, something's wrong. I shut it off to find out exactly what's going on. All right, I'm back. I did a little changing. We had to change the brass that I put over here. Brass um, washer from this side to that, to the rear, two nylon ones I put in front. I also changed the belt. Went from the one that went flying, <laughs> the belt that came with it, to one that I had came with, you know, had with the uh, pulley wheels, rubber one, and now it works. Let's move. Put the shell back on. But before I do that, I want to add some windshields. Put this clear plastic came off a package. Using an exacto knife, I cut little squares just big enough to cover the opening. I use some CA glue to hold it in place. I continue the process until all the windows were done.
Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye for now.